Hi everyone, this is Kelly, a writing consultant for New Mexico State University's Online Writing Center. In this video, I'm going to discuss invention strategies or ways to come up with topics to write about. But I'm not going to discuss the invention strategies that are commonly described, such as free writing, clustering, and listing. While these are effective strategies, I often hear students say they don't have an idea to begin doing these things, that they don't have an idea to be in free writing, clustering, or listing. So while many other websites, videos, and writing resources describe these, those strategies effectively, this video identifies four strategies that you can use to locate topics that you can then use to free write, cluster, and list. So the four strategies I'll discuss are uh, looking at intersections of the course objectives and your own interests, uh, research as, a as an invention strategy, uh, addressing specific audiences, and responding to specific exigencies or occasions to come up with topics. So one place to begin brainstorming could be the course syllabus. Each course should have specific objectives or what it is that you're supposed to get from the class. Review your course objectives and consider your own personal, academic, or professional interests. Though this might not provide clear or absolute ideas for you, it might at least put you on a path so you can not only get the things out of the class that you're supposed to be getting out of it, but applying uh, perspectives or uh, addressing topics that do actually interest you. The second strategy I'll suggest is to conduct research. Students often think they should conduct research only after they've come up with a topic. They want to find sources that support their ideas. However, research can also help you identify an idea worth exploring. So let's look at a few examples. First, you could speak back to ideas or authors. Um, for this, uh, you wouldn't only agree or disagree with the author or ideas, but you could use those as a starting point to put forth your own ideas. Perhaps you seek to modify or revise the author's ideas, or maybe you want to take the, their ideas in new directions. Um, but as we see in this example, the author uses Ed Bauer's ideas of the relationship between writing and affect as a starting point. So I highlighted that. So in the first uh, paragraph or so, the author um, discussed Ed Bauer's ideas and then used that as a way to start uh, as to bring in her own, her own point. So she starts by agreeing with Ed Bauer, but if we continue reading, we see that she responds to the original ideas and puts forth her own revision, um, which is the rest of the article. So consider how you can read text beyond just agreeing or disagreeing with them um, and maybe using that as uh, motivation to, for your own writing. Another way you can use research to help you brainstorm is by finding a gap in the conversation. This is key for academic writing. Um, academics join the conversation by finding gaps. In this example on cat's nutrition, the authors open their article with a brief review of literature and identify the gap. As you see, that's highlighted. Uh, so not much research on seasonal variances in food intake has been conducted on cats. This gap then is what motivated the research study and the subsequent article. As you research, consider what isn't being addressed and then use that gap as your way in. A third way to use research for brainstorming is by responding to calls made by authors. Oftentimes, writers identify suggestions for further research or consideration, often found in the text conclusion. As we see in this example, a qualitative study on reflective practices and technical communication courses, the author suggests ideas others can take up. Consider how you can respond to these calls to, again, join the scholarly conversation. For the final two strategies, we'll look at specific components of rhetorical contexts, um, specifically audience and occasions. So you can consider identifying particular audiences or groups of people as a source of brainstorming. So think of a particular audience and ask what topics or arguments they need to hear. You might want to refer to a companion video on this channel uh, called Thinking Rhetorically about, write, or Think about, about Writing Style Rhetorically, where I interview a writer who discusses how he had a particular audience in mind of business executives and thought of what they needed to hear. 
So he started with the audience, business executives, and thought, what is it that they need to hear? And then that then inspired um, his writing. So think about how you can start with the audience and then brainstorm things that they might, they might need to hear. I often see writing that is acontextualized, meaning the writer discusses a general idea that doesn't respond to a specific context. Um, so, for example, if they're talking about immigration, it's students just talking about their ideas, uh, it's a general idea of immigration. So to help contextualize your writing, you'll want to consider responding to a specific exigence or occasion uh, or some event or conversation in the world that's happening. For example, perhaps you are interested in writing about immigration. So instead of uh, writing about immigration in general, such as your thoughts for or against it, you could respond to an actual, current, real-world conversation about immigration. Um, so this, again, would require you to do a little bit more research to see what is going on um, and then how is it that you can contribute to that specific discussion. Locating your topic within specific occasions or exigencies can help you develop more specific topics on art. Um, or arguments. You could also start with the exigence or occasion, for example, an actual conversation or event on immigration, and develop a topic that way. Um, so regardless, use the world around you, events, conversations, imperfections, to help you come up with something worthy of writing. I hope this video has given you some strategies to use to help you locate places to find ideas to write about. Um, as you begin developing your idea, you might want to refer to another companion video on this, uh, on this channel, Shaping Your Topic and Narrowing the Scope of Your Writing. Um, this will help you, once you have that idea, uh, getting it more specific and giving it some more direction. On a final note, remember that writing is hard and coming up with something worthy of saying is probably the most difficult part of the entire process. So give yourself some brainstorming time and don't settle for the first topic that you think of. And recognize that the entire time you're writing, you're still brainstorming. You're going back and you're, you're refining your topic. So if you use these or other strategies that help you come up with topics to write about, please list them in the comments below. I'd be uh, interested to see what other people do. So thanks for watching and happy writing.